Hello and welcome to channel again. Today's video will be about a ferry ride that we did in Brisbane on City Hopper. Uh, City Hopper is a free ferry service in Brisbane that goes around uh, in a loop for 70 to 80 minutes on Brisbane River and you can have a fantastic view of the city and the skyline, all the landmarks. So it was a fascinating journey that we took recently. But when we actually did the video and recorded in Brisbane, we actually didn't do any vlogging. So we thought it would be a very good idea to add very nice, beautiful background and scenery um, in front of each of the videos that we're going to post. And uh, there is no better place than Hobart that where we live. And so we started recording some of these introduction um, in new background. Today's background, as you can see, is uh, the spirit of Tasmania standing and we have this blue Darwin River and a ferry coming in. So it is most appropriate to start this video with this beautiful background in Hobart. I hope you will enjoy this video because it's a fascinating ride on the Brisbane River and uh, you'll love it. So please watch this episode. Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we will go on a beautiful river cruise on the stunning Brisbane River in the city of Brisbane, capital of Queensland in Australia. It was a short stay in Brisbane for a couple of nights and we explored this beautiful city of Brisbane by the Brisbane River. We took the Brisbane City Hopper ferry service. Brisbane City Hopper is a popular and unique free ferry service that operates on the Brisbane River. It's an excellent way for both locals and tourists to explore the city while enjoying stunning views of the river and its surrounding landmarks. We had a quick Japanese lunch before we took the City Hopper from the Riverland stop a free ferry service to cruise along the winding Brisbane River. Look at the view of this Brisbane River and the Story Bridge. It was just stunning in this beautiful sunny afternoon in Brisbane. The City Hopper service was introduced in 2012 as part of the Brisbane City Council's plan to improve public transport and make it more accessible for residents and visitors. Soon after started our journey on this City Hopper, we got very lucky and got a couple of chairs at the back of the ferry. So we never wanted to leave those seats. So we were there for the rest of the afternoon and filmed this video. It was just stunning. Just as a background information, the City Hopper service had several stops, each with its own unique features and point of interest. A complete round trip from North Quay to Holman Street and back to North Quay can take up to 60 to 70 minutes. And we did a couple of loops of that. It was a very relaxing ride in the afternoon. The City Hopper follows a specific route along the Brisbane River, stopping at several key locations. These include North Quay, South Bank, Maritime Museum, Thornton Street, Eagle Street Pier, and Sydney Street Terminals. Each of these stops has its unique attractions and offers a glimpse into different aspects of Brisbane's culture and historical significance. The City Hopper ferries are designed with an open air deck, allowing passengers to enjoy the fresh air and unobstructed views of the river and the city. 
The vessels are equipped with comfortable seating and facilities, so the journey was most enjoyable. The City Hopper service operates seven days a week, with frequent departures throughout the day. During peak times, the ferries may run every 30 minutes, providing a convenient and reliable mode of transport for commuters and the tourists. During this beautiful ferry ride on the Brisbane River, we noticed there are a number of stunning modern looking bridges side by side with this historic story bridge. That was really a beautiful combination of the history and the modernization of a city. The City Hopper service is integrated into Brisbane's broader public transport system, making it easy for passengers to connect to other forms of transport like buses and trains. The City Hopper route connects various cultural and recreational destinations, including the Queensland Maritime Museum, South Bank's Cultural Precinct and the Riverside Markets, offering passengers a chance to explore and experience Brisbane's vibrant arts and entertainment scenes. The city of our ferries run on electric power, making them an eco-friendly mode of transportation. These aligns with Brisbane's commitment to sustainability and reducing the carbon footprint. At the very beginning of this video, when we started our ferry ride from the Riverland Ferry Terminal, you noticed a bridge, the Story Bridge, an iconic steel cantilever bridge that was located on the Brisbane River, spanning the Brisbane River connecting the northern to southern part of the city.
The idea for a new bridge to reduce traffic congestion in Brisbane, the Story Bridge, was proposed as early as 1926. However, it was not until the 1930s, during the Great Depression, that the construction of the bridge began. The project provided much needed employment for many people who were struggling during the economic downturn. The Story Bridge was officially opened on July 6, 1940, and it was named after John Douglas Story, the influential public servant who played a crucial role in its planning and construction. The bridge's design was inspired by the Jack Curtier Bridge in Montreal, Canada. The chief engineer of the project was John Bradfield, who was also responsible for designing the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The bridge's construction was a significant engineering feat at the time, and its unique cantilever design made it a standout landmark. During World War II, the Story Bridge played a vital role in Brisbane's defence strategy. Large anti-aircraft guns were positioned on the bridge, and it was also used to monitor the movement of ships in the river to protect the city from potential attacks. Over the years, the Story Bridge has become an iconic symbol of Brisbane, featuring prominently in city skyline. It is often used as a backdrop for various events and celebrations and firework displays. It was a mesmerizing journey on the Brisbane River. By the time we returned to the Riverland ferry stop, waterfront was glorified with beautiful illuminations. It looked stunning. Hope you enjoy this tour of Brisbane. Short ride on this city hopper, a different perspective from the city and the city view from the river. Thanks for watching our travel videos. Stay safe and goodbye until the next video.